If you had said to me that this was going to be the best anime film this year out of the three that I've watched, I would honestly laugh at you because one, it's not usually my sort of thing. And two, we've had Sword Art Online and that time I got reincarnated as Slime. Both pretty heavy hitters. But another surprising thing was the demographic for this. Like everybody in the cinema was a guy for a start and they're all around my age, which for a bit of a a rom-com, I wouldn't expect that but it was a nice surprise like i'm not judging people they can watch what they want but let's let's talk about the film right it was awesome i thoroughly enjoyed it um the whole conundrum with like the first kiss and both of them not knowing where they stand with each other was done excellently like when you're 17 you literally know nothing about romance and this movie plays off that really really well even though that i haven't actually seen the anime or actually read the manga you didn't actually need to consume any of it to actually enjoy it i literally went in partially blind and i was like oh this is actually quite good bearing it to other movies i would say it animation wise it was a lot like mug and train like the animation was very very well done and it looked smooth all the way throughout it didn't look like a tv episode at all it looked like it was a very high budget production and watching it subtitled be prepared to read a lot of subtitles because there are subtitles on the top of the screen and the bottom of the screen so unless you're like a fast reader and you're going to be getting this quite a lot so you kind of want to be aware of that strangely enough i haven't actually seen any dubbed um showings of this i don't know if they haven't dubbed it yet or what but i thought that was a bit strange if you have seen this please let me know thoughts but if you wanted to start reading the manga afterwards you'd want to start on volume 16 chapter 152